check the speed of this, okay? This is slowed down half because it's very, very fast. Tail end, obviously, you look at that, you go, hmm, bird? Well, it's not. It does often, probably every object that I capture, some people will say, well, mm, I don't know. It looks like a bird. That's why you have to be honest and tell your community what the speed of these objects are going by. It's definitely not a bird. And we're going to see it quite simply. There's something trailing it. You want to hear the stupidest part, the dumbest part? All birds that are planning in the sky have their wings outwards. This object is a massive object and it went by at very high rates of speed. L looks nothing like a bird. And of course, I was right there. And when it went by, I had the chance to be looking in the camera and saying, wow, there's no birds. And birds don't exactly look like that. They do have a head. But you could see that the tail is, uh, it's going so fast that it's actually blurred at the Birds can be seen at that size. And why would that be? They would be close to the camera. They would be blurry too. Almost see-through. You'd see wings. You wouldn't see a direct form and shape like we see here. Check it out. It's pretty incredible. Is oval shape. That's pretty big. Very big. But of course, it doesn't mean this is not on the sun, obviously. This is going by... Uh, over my head it just so happens that i was filming the sun and that object appeared because of course the sunlight's brightness is probably the only reason why i was able to see it i've seen objects before that are off of the sun but especially when it goes by near the sun or in front of the sun between the sun and i we see these objects really well so there it is whizzing by that's a cool object it is pretty big don't forget there are asps Let's see what birds look like when they're far away flying by in front of the sun. Well, it's taking it a long time to get by, isn't it? Hmm. Still not convinced, eh? That's okay. See the dot going by on top of the sun? It's not a dot. It's going by very fast. Let's slow it down. Oh, look at that. Objects going by at high rates of speed. Birds are easy to slow down. There are lots of objects going by the sun, on fire, spiraling. Eh, it doesn't look like a bird, does it? You could tell whether it's a bird or not, like this one. We're going to look at that one really close up. Looking for wings, somebody says. Zoom in closer so that we know it's not birds. Come on. Maybe you should start bird sightseeing if some of you like birds. I like the UFOs. I love birds, but I also film them. I also show them in my research when they go by, but that's not a bird. And it's, you know, why is it white? Well, that's how we see everything out there in space, right? The sun, like, look, you look at this object that I've shown before I got this a couple of years ago, if not three years ago, and you can see that it's so large, the object going into the sun's corona with a simple green filter, you literally see that object would be over maybe 50, 60 times the size of Earth. As it's going by the sun, it's ginormous, okay? Very, very big. It could be a regular conjunction from any of the moons, Jupiter's moons. I mean, we do see things going by in front of the sun. But, of course, a conjunction is obviously not this fast, like this object right here. Again, this is 2022. 2022 object. Very similar to the object that I caught in 2021. And sometimes they have different sizes, same trajectories, but different sizes because as they're getting closer to Earth, obviously, or come back around the sun closer to Earth, we can see the difference in their sizes as they appear bigger. Did you see that it came from around the sun and didn't come from across the screen also? More characteristics that are telling us that this is an object that is really beside the sun. Looks like a Hershey's kiss, if you want. The Dark Knight also has the pointed nose, you know, but we're looking at it far away. You can look at it the way you want or say what you want, but uh, you know it's not a bird and obviously not a satellite <laughs> that's going by the sun either. And these are simple ways. This is a negative image, straight up filming the sun with the fil my, my solar filter, of course, and putting the it in a negative image. And that's what it does. Here's the conversion to green negative image, quite simply different color. So I added some other objects to show you guys that, yeah. I catch a lot of objects. 
I'll post more today. So, wow, TR3B, Dark Knight, there's a black triangle. See it? Do you like seeing it that way? I do. You can see it very well, eh? The shape. Anyway, I can show you that it's an isosceles triangle flying by the bloody sun. So, if this is not an object, an asteroid creating a shadow on the sun, somebody says, what's your explanation then, Bruce, for this? Well, it's easy. It could be two objects or one object that hit something and split up and that they're just separating trajectories as they're traveling across the sun. There's so many things to see beside the sun. Everyone's always asking me, Bruce, did you see this? Did you see that? Well, did any of you see this dark triangle? Of course not, because some of these events are uniquely seen by one person in the world. And then nobody believes those people.